Welcome back to another X-Life video titled Lizzie's Deadly Parkour because I'm also here for them views. Give me them views. Give me them subscriptions as well. Please subscribe right now. Okay, let's start the video. Welcome back to the X-Life server. We are here in our new base with our new shrine, which I still love, by the way. And in a bit, we're actually going to be working on the other two sections up there as you guys submitted some insane artwork. So much insane artwork that I think I'm actually going to have to change this part of my base here to be an art gallery because I want to show you them all. I think it'd be cool to have, you know, like plaques with the artist's name on it. And also in this section here, you may notice the villager population has gone down slightly. That's because I have been very busy transferring all the villagers up here. I actually recorded this, but it was very boring. So here's a few seconds of what happened. I killed some villagers. I converted some villagers. I then moved the villagers to their slot here. Like I said, boring. But there is a fun part coming up. And that is the fact that over here, I have 10 villagers. Now these guys aren't converted. They're just regular old villagers. And that's because over here, we need to clear these guys out. We've got way too many. We don't need them anymore. We fill up our villager section over there. I've saved those ones just for the future. So a deed must be done. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. I don't know why, but there was just something so funny to me about me killing a load of villagers in a dark montage, but with this outfit on. But anyway, like I was saying, we're going to add on these two paintings now. And it's been really, really hard to choose which ones to put up here. But I have chosen two. But don't worry, if you don't see yours here, we are going to be adding in a load into an art gallery later. And yours might appear there, hopefully. I'm going to try and get as many in as possible. Someone pointed out this looked like a stick man, by the way. <laughs> now I can't see it, so I'm going to have to move it. So like I said, it was so close. But the two I have chosen are these two here. First art piece is this one of Panda Jeremy here. The amount of detail that's on this thing. The Jeremyism flag as well on the bamboo. I just can't. I literally can't. It is amazing. So thank you so, so much, Mu Yan, because this is amazing. I'm going to put their link in the description. So good. I, I'm, not, I'm not, it's not full size just yet. I'm going to work out how big it's going to be. But first, we have Donkey Jeremy here. This is insane. It's actually insane. This was made by Age or something and honestly amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like it's going to go up here. Obviously not that size. Probably going to be bigger than that. But wow, like those, are, oh, they're just so perfect. I can't thank you guys enough. And I'm so excited to show you more in the art gallery later. But first, let me get this all sorted out so it's looking nice. It's done. Look at this. Oh my God days. I love it so much. I added a load of candles in as you can see here. I actually lit up the background of some of these as well. The panda one doesn't need it so much but this one over here really did and oh wow just so cool. And speaking of Jeremyism we're gonna go meet up with our newest member as he has a request for me to kill him and let's be real I'm not gonna turn that down. I've decided to just get the most hearts on the server because I died once so you might as well just keep dying I know you know. Yeah, that sounds, sense. Like, sounds pretty good. And also, it means you have more hearts than me, and that ups my clout, so I'm happy to do this. Also, I just like killing people, so I'm happy to do this for that reason. You weren't here when we killed Megan. Uh, I mean, nope. we, Sass. It was all me. Don't worry, no one else was involved. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought you get to see it for your own, like, you know, see what it's like. Uh, and you can take the role of Megan this time, which would be nice for you. Where, oh, so it's um, like a role play. Yeah, role play. Just stand, don't move. Okay. There oh, we go. oh, oh. Okay. Oh, then, this then. is. This is nice. Yeah, move forward slightly, but make sure you, you, you're still lying down. You just want to move forward a little bit. <laughs> well, let me just uh, do the quick cheer. Oh, Woo! thank you for the cheer. Are, are you ready to die, Callum? I think so, yeah. Take me to five hearts, Joel. Okay, I'm not sure if the first one will kill you, but we'll find out. <laughs> oh, it did. That's fun, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, oh it was right on my skull. Yeah, that was fun. It looked really nice. Oh, that was oh. a fun, clean death. I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that too. Go check out Callum's video if you want to see his other deaths, as I'm pretty sure he's trying to get the most hearts on the server right now. 
Man is crazy. Now, the reason why Callum lost his first heart was because of Lizzie's parkour, which honestly, I might have to try later. I, I, I might have to try, but I'm already on five hearts. I don't want to go to six, although the six heart clubhouse is pretty cool. But for now, I want to do some building. We're going to work on a couple things. The first one is this art gallery here. We need to make this area look nice. Probably going to have another platform up there, but I'll use the underside of this bit as well now. And we're going to go all the way to the end here. And then after that, all we have to do is really the greenhouses and the top sections and the interior of the base is almost done. It's pretty crazy. So let's work out how this is going to look. I'm thinking like white walls, make it look really artsy, put all the arts up in different sizes and stuff. Let's do it. Wait, I forgot to say lazy beans, take it away. Lazy beans, take it away. Oh, I didn't actually plan any of this out. I just sort of had an idea in my head and actually it's turned out looking amazing. I'm so happy with this. I wanted to keep on on this side, the sort of cyan vibe we've got going with the water, as you can see in that section behind there. And I also wanted to include some water as well, which is what you're seeing right now. I was messing around with shapes for ages, but finally we got to these just two sort of oval shapes here. And they're gonna be two little pulls where there's going to be fish and stuff and have some nature and some bamboos you'll see sprout up in a second and I wanted this to actually look like an art gallery where it's got like a few different like outputting walls there's different sections and stuff although my sections aren't going to be organized it's just going to be a mess of different artwork all over the place I say a mess all the artwork is amazing but you can see I've gone for that sort of nature vibe here and I actually changed all the top blocks to be lantern blocks as well so that it's really nice and lit up in here but let me show you all the artwork so originally I was thinking, hmm, I might be able to fill one little section, but instead we filled two sections of the four already. I'm definitely going to have to make this a double flawed art gallery. So let's head in. And I think the gallery itself is looking really nice too. My idea is definitely just to like keep this going up. And then we're going to have some fish in here as well. And there's actually a tunnel that I probably didn't see in the time lapse under here as well. But here's the section unfilled. And then at the front here, this section is looking so good. I think it actually looks like a gallery. Let me show you. Also, I made a custom plaque for each piece of art with the artist's name. This one here from Destined Cat. We've got this one from Paulo. This one here from Corded Plot. Starry Peach. Molly Howells. Acrobatic Bobcat with an amazing picture of Mary. Abby Draws. Meltastic. Wow. I really like that art style. I look like I'm in BTS. And then this one here from Banana Me, who we've seen before, of the, the startings of Jeremyism. Then on this one here as well, we've got Freeske, who makes these every time a new member got added. It started with me, then we got Jimmy and Callum now. I love it. Then we got some Diamond Designs artwork here as well. And then over on this side as well, we've got some art. These are both by the same person, Famlit Llama. I love those. That's such a cute style. I'm here from Spanish Senpai, some Donkey Jeremy's, I'm Red Lemon. We shoe there with Panda Jeremy. A little tiny one from Blazing Star. Idiotic Bum. Palmer Chili. I really like that. That was very sort of like artsy. This one here, Psyduck Detective. Bookish Draws. Molly Howells again. I think we actually had another one over there from Molly. And then these two here as well, both done by Ashley Amber. The Panda and the Donkey. Oh my gosh, look at the detail. That's nuts. All of these are just so good. I love this idea. I'm so sad I didn't do this sooner. We're going to have to maybe build some more sections if we're going to carry on with this because you guys are just producing some ridiculous artwork and I don't know how I'm going to keep up. But thank you so much to every single person who submitted art. This is insane. I'm sorry if yours didn't get submitted but I only wanted to fill one section. We ended up filling two. Now, I didn't notice this last episode because over in this hole over here, I saw this in Catherine's video. She has made an adorable little statue of me. I don't know why my head's so flat, but I love it. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Apparently in my last episode, I was looking at that billboard there and I didn't see it. I just completely brain farted. Thank you, Catherine. I might have to sort of like, you know, decorate the area around this at some point. I might invite people to come look around my art gallery when it's done. So if we get the other section done, we'll start inviting people to come look at the art. I actually forgot that I actually put another one around here from Ghostlessness, which is looking awesome. Spooky Donkey Jeremy. Now I've spent a lot of the last couple of episodes in my base. Is that a phantom? What the heck is that doing in here? And although I'm loving the aesthetic in here, it's time for another aesthetic and that aesthetic is probable death as yes, we're gonna attempt Lizzie's parkour. My heart is already starting to beat fast. I've set myself a goal, right? And that goal is to complete the ladder section. I'm not gonna go any further than that because honestly, 
I don't think I can do it. Saying that, I've actually been practicing my parkour recently for Minecraft Championships. Speaking of which, if you subscribe to my second channel, you'll be able to catch a stream this Saturday where I'll be teaming with Grian, Solidarity Gaming, and In The Littlewood. So we've got to remove all our armor. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Take the waystone. It says use this iron armor if you want, but there's none in there. I know the rules. Basically, you're not allowed to MLG anything. Oh my gosh. Also, no MLG Jeremy like that rule. Okay, come on. All right, let's just do it. Now we've got no enchanted armor on. Any little fall will hurt us, but we're just going to go for it. I don't know how far we have to fall with five hearts to die, but we've made the first section. So we've got one diamond. Let's quit. I only came for that one diamond. Just kidding. It's froggy style time. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I lagged a little there. I'm panicking. Okay. Oh my gosh, we made that bit. Oh my gosh. My heart rate, guys. It's pounding. I was about to say, can you hear it? But you won't be able to because it's inside my chest. I'm not allowed this bucket in my inventory because I'm not allowed to do any MLG jumps. Okay, so we've got a Disney wish block. But the next prize is 32 diamonds, I'm pretty sure. But we've got to get to there and do these ladders. Oh, okay, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just get out of the way. Ladder parkour is my... Wait, what? I just fell. I just fell. I was pressing W. What? What? I'm fuming. I'm fuming. I need to watch that back. I'm so confused. I don't know how I fell off that. I, I was holding W. How did I fall on? What? I'm so mad, right? Because I was the longest living at this point. We have this thing on the server and I had the most. I'm so com. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Oh, okay, at least we get to go look at the Six Heart Club now. But do you know what? I think I'm going to sad build something. Except the time lapse music is going to be really upbeat. And by then I'm probably going to be over it. And it'll be nice and happy, Joel. But let's find out what we're going to build first, I guess. Now we still have all these animals here from when Lizzie went on her pet collecting mission for us. And we haven't worked on Geranimal Kingdom since we made the sign. So I think that's going to change. And we're going to start off with a building over there. And it's going to be the main central hub. And it's been suggested in my comments for a while now. And yes, that's right. We're going to build Big Jeremy. I'm over it. I've accepted my death now. And I'm quite happy to start working on this Geranimal Kingdom area. Starting with Big Jeremy. Because people were suggesting this in my comments. I can't remember who was suggesting it. I lost the comment. I'm sorry. But one person was suggesting it for sure. And that was to build a version of Big Ben. Which we have in the UK in London and replace it with Big Jeremy. So I've built a massive clock tower here, as you can see. It's very much modeled after Big Ben. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and it kind of is weird having a big, massive clock tower just in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna have to start adding stuff around in this Geranimal Kingdom area soon. I do think it's hilarious, though, that out of the two things we built in this area, we've got the Mount Rushmore equivalent, and we've got Big Ben now. Should this entire area just be like landmarks? That would be hilarious. Obviously, in real life, Big Ben is attached to the Houses of Parliament. So here is looking a bit lonesome. So we'll have to add some buildings around. And I've got the perfect animal. I want to occupy this because this is such a ridiculously tall tower. We need a fitting animal to live inside here. And I've made a little humble abode here. Got nothing really. Just a little bed, hay, and this. And we're going to put in our hedgehog. Hedgehog Jeremy because I thought... That is hilarious. Hedgehog Jeremy here, who's absolutely tiny, gets the biggest and tallest building that we have. Like, I thought that was a really cool idea. I'm not sure what else we can give him in here, though. So I think for now, it's just going to be this. He's got lots of space to wander around. He's got a little bed there. He's chilling. He's adorable. Put this as Hedgehog Jeremy's humble house. There we go little sign but my idea is soon we're gonna work on like a bridge across here then have some paths then have like some other buildings should i go with the landmarks thing i think that'd be pretty cool what other landmarks should i build though nothing too crazy please also i've got a new sign on my bird board from jimmy bucks which looks great i love this logo it is now open i'm gonna head to spawn and have a look i need to take some diamonds though Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love it. Right, let's head inside. What we got on the menu? <laughs> Coffees, frappuccino, americano, iced coffee, mocha. All coffees cost three diamonds. Blow my neck, Jimmy. Okay, these Jimmy Bucks cold brews are cute, though. I'm going to take one. Wait, can you plop these down? <gasps> Look at that. That is adorable. Oh, and I've drank it. What did it give me? Fire resistance. Whoa, that's... That's pretty cool. Wait, do I get the cup? No. 
Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm going to take another one. I'm going to take this Frappuccino. I'm going to put it in my house, and I'm not going to drink it just yet. Also, if you didn't know, Lizzie made Jimmy this coffee machine here, which is so cool. And only he can use it. Wait, is there an upstairs of this place? Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Also, while we're here, the Seven Heart Clubhouse, which I built for Jack so that I could kill him. And they seem to have left the doors open. Tried Lizzie's parkour and he died. So he now has access to the Seven Heart Clubhouse. And if I kill him, he's going to need an Eight Heart Clubhouse. But you know what? I'm not building it. Not part of the deal. And now Callum's sitting at Eight Hearts as well, I'm pretty sure. It's up to Callum to build it. He's the first to Eight Hearts. And also, I've decided to hold off on killing Jack for a couple of episodes because I feel bad and I don't want him to die straight away. So we're going to start working on the statue soon, but we're going to gradually build it up. Look at Callum all the way over here on his cyan hearts. His life book must look mental. Falling anvil, that was me. I'm getting down there to be fair. Look at this. Two hours on six hearts already. Bloody neck. All right, let's go have a look at this six heart clubhouse. I'm hoping I'll stay in this one for a while. I hope no one does any deadly parkour challenges anytime soon. All right, let's head in. Oh, gosh. You need six hearts to get in here. Wow, this is cute inside. Whoa, I like the sky. That's awesome. We got some friends in here. We've got Tolly and Gay. Right, okay. We got a bunk bed. We can set our spawn point here. I like these flowers. Where are these from? What are they from? Also, if you see anybody who doesn't arrange their waystones on X-Life, let them know you can arrange them by pressing these arrows here. It's so annoying when you see people go on their waystone list and they do this loads of times and get to theirs, which is their last. I'm gonna put my Frappuccino down on the table over here and I hope no one comes and drinks it. Now my outfit is looking pretty good. However, I've been wearing it for a while now, so I think it's time to retire this for a little bit. I really need to make a section that I can like just store all my outfits in. Because can you put these on armor stands? I presume you can. But let's take these two off for now. We'll store them in this chest here. And I really want to try and get a Disney Wish hat. Which is the things that Lizzie makes. So let's quickly combine these to make a Disney Wish. And then combine this to make a Disney Wish block. And we can open this and we can see what we get. I hope it's a good hat. Please be something I want. I don't know what I want. <sighs> Olaf. How does it look? Yes. I'm not sure it's my favorite, but I'll, I'll wear it anyway. And I've decided to make a new skirt. It's this one here. Oh my gosh. It's so hideous. I love it. And the final piece of the outfit, some creeper socks. Oh yes. Am I looking fly? Look at these. Look at these. Looks so bad. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. No one's online, otherwise I go show them my outfit. Billboard time! A very cute one here from Mr. Lishan. Panda Jeremy there with his little halo. I hope Panda Jeremy 2 is okay. Yes, he's still alive. Good. This amazing billboard here from Snowy EXE. Look at me chilling out my magic carpet. Love it. And then we have this awesome pixel art one from Slim Bun on Reddit. It looks so cool. The Beans Palace. Oh, beautiful. And then finally, we have this amazing one here from Yuki Muki saying, We are Jeremy. The true king will rise again by will of those forgotten. No idea what that means, but I love it so much. It looks so cool. Thank you for that. And while we're here at spawn, we're by Diamond Designs and me and Fripp have been talking and our schedules have just been clashing so much. We haven't had a chance to build Joey's Queen of Hearts castle. So we're now going to be splitting some jobs. So Fripp's going to take on the King of Hearts castle and I have to build Callum's request. Callum gave us 300 diamonds and said to build something cool. Give it a little transformation. So we're going to actually do that ourselves next episode. If you've got any ideas of what I could do for Callum's area, please let me know. I'm thinking some terraforming. I don't want to touch his house too much, but I might just add like a building nearby sort of thing. Let me know if you've got any ideas. But unfortunately, guys, that's all we got time for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment as well. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.